afternoon. I'm Dave Canterbury with Wilderness Outfitters Archery, also home of the Pathfinder School. What we're going to do today, we're going to shoot a short video on poisonous plants to go along with our series of wild edibles that we've been posting on YouTube. We kind of posted things in reverse a little bit on YouTube as far as the Pathfinder system goes because the way I teach the Pathfinder system I usually try to get people to understand if you go back in the blocks and you look at block three for instance three poisonous plants poisonous animals or poisonous insects before they learn in block eight eight common wild edibles and the reason for that is is that there's so many more things in nature that cannot harm you that if you learn the things in nature that can harm you first then it opens up a whole world to you of things that you can enjoy and touch and eat and taste and feel and smell and I just feel like it's better that way to learn the bad things first so that when the good things come along it's just that much more pleasant but we're gonna shoot a video today on uh, seven or eight poisonous species of plants and we're doing this so that you'll know when you're walking around in the woods the things that you don't want to touch that you don't want to eat that you don't want to pick up and hopefully it'll give you uh, a taste of the few things that are really out there in eastern woodlands compared to the array of common wild edibles that we've already posted. Um, I actually took a couple of weeks uh, messing around in the woods to shoot just enough video to get the six or eight poisonous plants that I have. Um, there's, there's mildly poisonous plants that will make you sick if you eat them and things like that, but I wanted to concentrate on things that would really, really harm you if you ate them or if you touched them like poison ivy and things like that. Uh, more than just things that would make you sick. So with that said, the, the one disclaimer that I like to put on this video is, because we're talking about poisonous plants in general is, my advice to you, no matter what I personally do or anyone else personally does, my advice to you professionally is, never ever eat a wild mushroom. There have been countless stories of people who ate mushrooms for years and years and years, and one day came home with a bag of mushrooms fresh from the woods and were dead the next morning because they misidentified a mushroom. So my advice is to never eat a mushroom. What you do is your own business, but for sake of purpose, there's a lot more poisonous mushrooms than there are non-poisonous mushrooms. It's just the opposite when it comes to plants. All right, boys, here's the bad one. Poison ivy. This is the one you absolutely want to stay away from. You can see that waxy oily looking stuff on those leaves like we all know what that'll do to you leaves of three let it be words of wisdom i catch this stuff just looking at it okay this plant is called the blood root okay this plant is deadly poison all right deadly poison but even poisonous plants can be useful and what I mean by that is I'm gonna show you something right now and I'm gonna show you why they call this the blood root. okay this is the blood root itself you notice where this is broken it bleeds a real red juicy bloody looking red Try to get this in focus for you. All right, you can see that on my hands. Okay. Now, blood. this is deadly poison, as I said. Okay, but it does have its uses. Topically, I say again, topically, it is a very, very good antifungal. It will kill ringworm. It's good for warts. It's good for athlete's foot. It actually is an ingredient. In toothpaste in very very minute amounts but as I said make sure that you recognize this plant it is absolutely deadly poison if you ingest it okay this plant right here is poison hemlock it is absolutely poison it will cause respiratory and pulmonary failure it is a very close look-alike to the wild carrot or Queen Anne's lace if you look down here on the stem and you see this red on the stem and I hope you can see that in this film 
that's a dead giveaway, that reddish purple color, that this is poison hemlock. These are things that you need to understand when you go after wild edibles, that many, many wild edibles have poison lookalikes. Okay, plant that you're looking at now is called Mayapple. It is a member of the Mandrake family. It is poison. There are certain times of the year that you can eat the fruit of this plant, but the majority of the time, it is a poisonous plant. I make a habit to stay away from anything that can be poisonous any time of the year. I don't like to take chances. Okay. This is called Dwarf Larkspur. You see that it has leaves very similar to the toothwort, but the flowers are purple and run up the stem. This is in the monk's hood family, and it is poison, and eaten in any quantity can be fatal. Dwarf Larkspur. I hope you've enjoyed this segment on uh, poison plants. I think it was a worthwhile thing to show and a worthwhile thing for everyone to learn. And we're going to follow up with one more video on the wild edibles series. And then we're going to move on to medicinal plants and herbs. So thank you very much for your views. Thank you for your comments. And thank you very much for your support.